How you doing? Uh, now we're going to uh, fix my uh, home stereo speaker. Uh, one of them's blown, so the woofer here has been blown, and uh, I'm going to unscrew the four screws there and uh, put the new woofer in. So let's see uh, how that goes. I think it's pretty simple. Okay, so I just took it apart, and here's the old... Uh, woofer right here. I just removed the four screws that was uh, in there and uh, this one's marked already negative and positive. The terminals are red for positive and black for negative. So let's put in the new speaker. Just pick this one up. Um, 8 inch and uh, I'm going to screw this back in. Now when I took it apart it didn't seem to have any silicone on it so it's going to be pretty basic installation. Just line up the screws, um, connect the negative and positive uh, wires and then tighten the screws in. So let's do that. So I'm just unboxing it here and uh, this is uh, from Pile company's called Pile. It's 8 inch high power, high performance woofer, 440 peak power. And uh, there we go, that's the new, woof, the new woofer in there. Now, speakers are so expensive, sometimes it's better to just repair the one you have. And I've had this for years. like a pretty uh, nice woofer. And there's the back. Get a shot of that. So we're just going to connect the two wires, negative and positive. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little uh, plus sign and negative sign so we know where the wires go. Now the negative side will be the black wire. And the positive will be the red wire. Alright, I don't know if you can see that. But I've just uh, connected the two wires. We're going to line up the screw holes and uh, tighten the, uh, the screws. Now you want to place the speaker in the slot so it uh, it's right side up. So you see the wires are on the bottom of the speaker. It just makes it look nicer. I mean, you can do it the other way. I mean, no one's going to see it, but... And we line up the screw holes. Just lining up the screw holes here. And I'm uh, hand tightening them at first, because I'm going to drill them in. Now this one doesn't need any silicone or anything because when I took it apart there was no silicone to seal it. So I suppose it's going to be fine like this. Make sure your drill is on forward. installation and uh, there we go
it's a, actually a pretty good speaker. I uh, wasn't sure how it was going to sound when I bought it because I got it online. But it's the Pile 8 inch high power, high performance mid bass woofer. And uh, got it on Amazon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.